Bigfoot. Today we are going to be talking about the software that I use to edit movies and we're going to do a tutorial on this software which is iMovie. Now iMovie is a basic software but it's highly recommended in the vlogging world because it's really simple to use. If you're used to using software from Mac you're going to love the software. It's free and it's really easy just to learn altogether. Now I'm going to go through a tutorial on this and kind of talk about all the basic features and what I use the most when I'm editing my videos. Now all of my videos that you've seen on YouTube have not just been edited through iMovie but I've done it on my iPhone. So it's really simple which makes it a really attractive software to be able to use on the trail. So having said that, let's go ahead and get started on iMovie. Alright guys, well welcome to the tutorial of iMovie. So we're going to get started right now. I'm going to open up my app and I'm going to walk you through basically the, uh, the basics of editing and uploading clips from iMovie. So we're going to start off. There are three different functions in here, video, projects, theater. We're going to hit the plus and we're going to actually add a movie. Now, you can add a trailer and basically it's just a template that uh, you have. I can't remember how many templates there are. I've used it once and you just upload just different clips and it actually makes a really cool Hollywood style movie trailer. So if the project you're working on has something to do with that, that is one thing that you can use. It's really great. Uh, but today, again, we're going to do a, a movie. So I'm going to start off and I'm just going to add in some of my movies, uh, clips that I have. Now, now, this is pulling from your photos in your phone here. So I'm just going to add a few videos right here. I'm going to add one to start off with and create my, my movie. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, as you can see, I got my movie in here. And the first thing I usually always do is add my, my intro. So I'm going to click on this plus sign. And you have, when you click on that, you can add a number of different things into your iMovie video that you're editing here. Yeah, you can add videos, photos, you can add audio, uh, voiceovers, whatever you'd like. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a video. And uh, excuse me, I actually have my intros and outros in the, my favorites, so it's easy to find. Here's my intro. I'm just going to add that in the beginning. Now, uh, we'll go through here and actually add some more videos just so you can see it. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add one more video. Let's see if we can find a short one. Uh, okay, let's do this right here. And then I'm going to add in my, my outro. It's under favorites right here. All right, so this is my starting point, and I just have to now edit my movie. So the first thing I want to talk about is the transitions that you have from video to video, which is a really important part of editing, where you're probably going to spend the most of the time editing. So uh, there are, when I click on this, you have basically six different ways that you can transition from one video to the next. The, uh, the first one I'll talk about is Dissolve here. I'll show you what Dissolve looks like. Hey, what's up everyone? It's big. I, I use that one quite frequently in the beginning. The next one is slide. So I'll show you what that one looks like. Hey, what's up everyone? It's All right. Now, the next one is wipe. Hey, what's up? All right. And then you have a fade one that you can do. Hey, what's now, up? with each, not with every one of these, but with some of these, you actually can have different ways of doing it. So there's actually another option to do your fade, just like that. Uh, if you wanted to wipe it from a different ink, uh, different side, we'll go. We're, this one we're going to go from down to up. You can do hey, that. Up, so you really have some play in here. Now the theme one right here is depending on what theme you have set up for your iMovie. So if you click in the lower right hand corner, there are themes for every single one of your movies. Uh, today we'll just do the news. Uh, at the top, there's project filters, so you can actually filter your project in a different way. I don't usually mess with that, but uh, for today, we're just going to keep it as is. We'll be done here, and basically what that would look like is when you have the theme on here, that's hey, what's what up, everyone? the transition looks like. And then you, of course, have none. I use this one most frequently when I'm transitioning from one clip to the next in the same movie with the same camera angle, and this will just immediately transition up, to the next one. Point. So uh, that's a little bit about all of the transitions that you have. Again, the one that I use the most is none. So when I'm doing this, let's just say that I wanted to take a part out that I didn't like. 
So I'm going to click on and touch my movie. My toggle will come up on the bottom. And I'm going to click on split. And this is going to split my movie. And let's just say that I want to eliminate this part right here. I'm going to split this again. And I'm going to highlight this box by touching it. And then I'm going to delete it. There, the delete is in the uh, lower right-hand corner of the screen. And now that's deleted. And as long as I have the same camera Starting angle, off. let's do that again. We're going to edit another part. Let's delete it. As long as I have the same background uh, angle, uh, it's going to have a pretty smooth transition. If I, I had a different the background, then it would look really, really weird. So when you are doing videos and if you're going to be doing a lot of editing, make sure you don't touch the camera that you are filming with so that you can keep that same camera angle and it will be a lot easier and a lot smoother transitions on when you're editing. All right, so that's a little bit, I, again, I do this probably most in my videos when there are things that I want to take out because obviously editing is just a humongous part of the overall product. You spend more time editing, at least I do, than actually making the video most times. All right. So that's a little bit about just transitioning from videos one to the next. A few other things that you have in the toggle, uh, there's a little icon here to speed or slow things down. So you can speed up or slow down a clip, whichever you'd feel that you'd want to do. We're going to go back to regular speed. Then you can freeze if you'd like, depending on what kind of projects you're doing. Uh, you can add whatever you want in here. Delete that. Uh, there's add and then there's reset. So you want to just reset everything that you did. Um, I don't use this super often. Uh, the next one is sound. So you can adjust the sound. So let's just say that uh, you didn't want sound on this clip right here and you wanted to add some music in. So what you do is uh, click on this. You're going to click on add. Let's go out of video. Let's go back and we're going to audio. And let's just say that you wanted to add some theme music. We're going to do modern. And we're going to use it. It's going to imprint it right below. And basically, this is going to be my music with this. Now, uh, you can do lots of different things. So, like, let's just say that you still wanted your voice. You wanted to voice over the music, but you didn't want your music so loud. Well, you can do the same thing and bring down the music. So you just have kind of a subtle background with the music playing. Everyone, it's Bigfoot. I'm back here doing another gear review. That's probably a little too... Low. This time we're going to review the Neo Air X Lite. Uh, and another thing you can do here is actually split it just like you can split the iMovie clips. You can split this. So we're going to go here and we're going to split. And now I have two different clips of my iMovie. So let's just say that I didn't want this theme music in the beginning. I'm going to turn it off, take the sound all the way down. And I'm going to use this all the way until here. I'm going to split it, go back there, split, and I want just this music right here to play, so I'm going to keep this on, but after this, I'm going to take my music down, so I'm turning off that clip, so my music is only playing on this part, so that's, that's one cool thing that you can do, just like you can do with editing your photos, editing your videos in here, there's so many different levels and layers, you just have to play around with it. Uh, the next thing you do is you get text here, so you actually can add in whatever text you want. So let's just say that we want to have an opening. I'm going down here. I'm going to pick this one right here, and I am just going to uh, I'm going to type in Bigfoot here, and then I'm going to type in iMovie. All right. Back here doing so gear review. that is the way that you can do that by adding an intro for your title. Now, let's just say you only want it to go maybe five seconds or whatever. Then anything else, you're going to split it. So basically, it will fade in, then it will fade out when you get view. past it. And then the last one here is just your filter. Same as what we went through before. It's just got all kinds of different filters. Again, I don't really use it that much. So that's a little bit about just editing, basic editing, basic sound. Now, some other features that you can do in here, let's just say that you wanted to add in a video over a video. You're going to click your plus here. We're going to go back out of audio. We're going to go back into videos. And we're going to go to recently added. And I want to throw a video inside of my video. So let's just do this one because I actually did this recently. 
And uh, we're not going to hit plus. If you want to play it and actually see what this video is, you can play it. That's kind of nice when you're trying to figure out what video you have. And the three icons to the right are different options that you can add video. So the first one we're going to add here is one that uh, basically you would transition. You're still talking. So talking right here, and basically you are just, uh, basically you just have a voice over your video of whatever video you have below it, but you, you wanted to put that in, and it's going to transition it smoothly. Uh, the next thing that we can do is add a video, and we can put a video within a video screen. I'll show you what that's going to look like here. So uh, this is one thing that you can use. A lot of uh, popular YouTubers use when they want to show a video within a video and they're talking about a tutorial or something like that. And uh, let's split this because I'm going to do another one here. And the last one is a side-by-side. -side. And that's what that's going to look like. So some different options what you can do. Be creative, but it's really cool. So that's kind of the, really the basics of things. I didn't cover every single thing in iMovie, but I did cover the most common things that I actually do when I'm editing. Uh, now, you can add photos in here, too. Uh, again, uh, you want to split this. Whoops. Come on. Split this. I want to add a photo in here. I'll just recently added. Let's, uh, let's put this one in here of the six moons tent and basically you have some options in here when you highlight the picture uh, if you have the Ken Burns enabled basically what's going to happen is uh, you this is how you want the photo to appear in transition so the top here says pinch position to to start so I'm going to zoom in here that's going to be my starting position and then the next arrow pinch position to end and I want to end right there so I'm going to show you what that's going to do. Now when I play it, it's going to zoom out during the course of the picture. You can do anything you want in this, so it really is up to you. If you don't want to disable that, just click on Disabled, and uh, we're going to zoom back out. We want this to look like that, and it's going to just have the still shot of it. Now you can add time to your, your photo here by just pinching it like that and then the same with decreasing So another great feature of there. So anyway, so that's really the most common things that you really need to know about iMovie and what I use most of the time. Now when you are done with your clip, you're going to click on Done, and you have a couple different options of how you can upload it. Now if the clip is under 15 minutes, you actually can upload it right to YouTube. So I'm going to click on the Share button here, and scroll, click on YouTube, and then you'd fill this stuff out, and then you would start uploading to YouTube. Now, I'm not going to do that here, but what I am going to do is I am going to export it to my photo library. I'm going to click on Save Video. I'm going to click on HD 720, and then it's going to start exporting this video to my library. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful for all of you. Honestly, you just have to play with it. And the more you play with it, the better you get. What I did when I was on the trail is, or actually prior to the trail is, I did all my videos on my phone. So I got used to this. So when I got on the trail, I was really good at the software or decent with the software. I knew what I was doing. So I wasn't spending so much time trying to edit videos. Now I learned more on the trail. And actually, I'll tell you, I have been doing my videos all on my iPhone. I just got a MacBook Pro, so I'll start editing them on there. But everything you've seen has actually been from the iMovie app on my iPhone. So pretty cool. Lots of great things to do here. All right. Well, that kind of wraps up iMovie. Again, that's not every single feature that there is, but these are just the basic things that I used. And as you use the software more, you'll get to learn it. It's going to go faster. You'll probably learn a few extra things on it. I honestly learn something new probably about every week. And, and it's great. I love it. But again, this is the software I highly recommend. If there's a software that you love that you recommend, please put it below in the comments. It'll be helpful to everyone else that's reading them. But that's it. Thanks, everyone. Stay tuned for my next sighting. And remember to always follow Bigfoot. Thanks, guys.